Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we are going to be talking about circuits. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define and describe the different types of circuits. So, firstly, we have our vocabulary. Electric current, a steady flow of electric charges. A circuit, a continuous pathway that can carry an electric current. Series circuit, a circuit with only one path or current. Parallel circuit, a circuit with two or more paths or current. Voltage, we have strength of a power source. Resistance, the ability of substance to oppose or slow down electric current. Moving to the concept of electric current. Electric current, a steady flow of electric charges. Current electricity is used to power most electrical things. It is easier to control than static electricity. Electric currents can only move along path. It is not random, it moves continuously as long as there is a path to follow. Circuit, which is a continuous pathway that can carry an electric current. Pathways can be open or closed. Closed pathways provide usable energy. As you guys did in your steam fair for math, you guys did electric circuits. Circuits need a source to provide the movement of the electrical charges. A battery is an example. Two kinds of circuits. We have series and parallel. Series circuit. An electric circuit with only one path for current to flow through. An electric current must go all the way around for anything to work. Series circuit travel of the electrical current. First, the current leaves the power source. Then, it travels through the wire. It passes through each attached device. Finally, it ends up back in the power source. This pattern repeats as long as the pathway is closed. And this is a series circuit. As you can see, this is a battery. And if I have a current moving right here, it's going to pass through every single circuit component and back to the battery again. It's mostly used for simple devices, flashlights, small lighted uh, signs, bicycle flashers, if one part of a series does not work, the whole thing will not work as well. Everything attached to a series circuit is on when one thing is on. Once something is off, or for example, if I have a shortcut in one of the devices, okay, that is attached to the circuit, the entire circuit will break down and nothing will work. We are going to talk about this in much more